entered seven YouTubers for a bracket style cook off tournament. Each round, our contestants will have 20 minutes to make a dish to impress our judges. Round one Jeff Bowie versus Moochie. Boys, you have 20 minutes to make us a grilled cheese. Oh, you're gonna make one of the. This is the matchup of the century. Time starts now. I think what's gonna set my dish separate is. Yeah, we're gonna share bread. Yeah. Just make Should wine and cut it. <laughs> We'll make our own, yeah. and then in the end, we'll come together, which is better we could have. Today, we're testing to see how much bias the judge has towards either one of us. If they catch us in here, we just say, oh, we thought we were on the same team. Yes, 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 yes. When Mitchell asked me to give me half of my sandwich, I was like, actually, that's a pretty good idea, because now we could see if the judging is maybe a little biased. So we wanted to see and have fun with it, but I just hope I don't lose. I'll set it up for us. All right. <laughs> What is happening over there? No, no, Nothing. We're, we're laughing together. Yo, he's not even using a cutting board. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh. Well, it's still in the package. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just walking around with a knife. Dude, that right knife there. is right <laughs> by <laughs> his <laughs> eyeball. Did you get the No, this is not working. He <laughs> always go first. I is the stove use, working, John? I might have to use the back. Oh, nice. You're just turning the hollow. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Mitchell and Jeff have just been giggling this entire time <laughs> and nothing has been cooked in five minutes. There you go. Nice. Are you guys making like the exact same thing? No, no, no. We've just been struggling. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like they're making the exact same thing. Well, I mean, how different can you make? <laughs> I mean, you could put something in the grilled cheese. There's spices. Right. Should I do more than two? No, I think we're good. Mitchell's looking at soy sauce. Is this an onion? That's a garlic. Oh. Yo, low key garlic bread grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. That sounds amazing. I just don't know if he knows how to cut garlic. He oh, he's crushing. he's crushing, he's <laughs> crushing. He is crushing. Okay. Look at him. Nah, Moochie's got skill now. Jeff's coming to the spices. Ooh. I'm out. A marshmallow we, we, we have our winner. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Getting some sizzling on the grill. Gotta get a good butter crust. Mitchell added the garlic, so the garlic is good. All right, bro, what's going on here? Dude, that smells really good. Thank you, James. That means a lot. Got three Dude, cheeses I'm in there. I'm excited to eat that. I'm not even gonna lie. All right, Mitchell, what do we got cooking? Mine just started on the pan, mm -hmm. but we got also three cheeses. We also have butter, and we also have garlic. That sounds really good. Your guys' sandwiches look identical, though. <laughs> I think we both just grabbed all the cheeses possible. Okay. Little do they know it's gonna be the same sandwich. Is Jeff a good cooker? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff likes to burn food. Are there oven mitts for a stove top? We're just doing something real cool. So. You guys know you're not on a team, right? Yes. Do you guys want to win? Yes. yes. You guys have seven minutes left. I have a secret ingredient that I'm gonna put in when Jeff isn't looking. Jeff's actually looked really good when I walked over there, I will say that. Well, it's looking a little brown. <laughs> <laughs> a good chef must always taste his creation. Yes. That's why half of mine will be gone. What if I cut like half, and then I cut yours like this, and then I cut mine like the square, so it looks a little different. Yes. But it's the same. They should be keeping secrets from each other. I know, are you guys collaborating on these cheeses? Like, what is happening? And we'll cut like that. Give Mitchell a good cheese pull. I like that one. We finished. Same All right. Time. What? It literally looks identical. This is mine. All right, we are going to start with Mitchell's grilled cheese. Look at the pull, yeah. Nice pull. Hmm. Good flavor, though. Pretty standard grilled yeah, cheese, pretty, I would say. Pretty standard. Dog shit. We're going to try Jeff's now. Wow. Ooh, it's looking a lot less melted than Mitchell's. Zero pull. Dude, this is the exact same thing. Why did you guys make the exact same sandwich? I liked the, his bread better a little bit. Chris, who are you voting for? Jeff. Moochie. And I am voting for Moochie. Yes! Damn. What was wrong with mine? I feel like you had a little too much American cheese and none I, of it melted. I had too much American cheese. And it didn't melt. That's the little deciding factor. I just liked it better, bro. <sighs> How the hell did I lose when Mitchell took my sandwich? Like, it's the same sandwich. Mine was cut even better. This is ridiculous. I felt amazing when the judges voted me as the winner. I just, it's undeniable. I'm the best grilled cheeser in the group. Round two, we have Zach. Versus Tim. You guys have 20 minutes to make hot dogs. Time starts now. I need 10, baby. You know, I think that a uh, hot dog is not my favorite meal, to say the least. But uh, I wanted to get a little creative with it. So I was kind of like, let's sprinkle a little, little bit of excitement in here today. Maybe I win. Let's look in the fridge, see what we got right here. I feel like I'm kind of, you know, representing for the Mexicans here in this cooking video. Where are the tortillas? Tortillas, crazy. <laughs> Bro, you promised tortillas. I'm worried about Tim, man. I think Tim is a DoorDash Andy. Well, how do you turn on this stove? <laughs> 
When I looked over at Tim's cooking, it just made me that much more confident, dude. I felt like he was just a lost puppy in the kitchen, man. A little slice of butter. Yeah, it honestly looked like, like you guys cut one of the sandwiches in half and served it. Yeah, yeah. you just serviced Mitchell's, didn't you? No, they served up mine that he won off of my <laughs> No oh my God. way! And I just cut it one like that and one like that, and I gave Mitchell half of mine. And he ended up winning! Wow. <laughs> I decided to come clean because, you know, Jeff has been working really hard in cooking videos. I also thought it'd be funny to expose what really went down. <laughs> Dude, I am so focused right now. <laughs> LeBron James could walk through that door right now. He's not gonna stop me. No, what is going on with his butter? I just realized I was messing with the wrong dough thing. Oh no. No, Zach sabotaged me. Hey man, I don't even know what you got going on. Yo, what's bro? going on right here? How's it going, guys? Good, we're fine. Don't worry about us. Okay. I'm so nervous right now, dude. Nothing's going as planned. Time's moving, time's moving. <laughs> <laughs> bro, they're laughing at you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I see a bag of marshmallows really close to the stove and I'm really concerned. He said he's making dessert. Dessert hot dog? I feel like all Zach has to do to win is heat up the hot dog. What are you guys laughing at over there? Uh, Zach. Just making sure. <laughs> How do you guys feel about each other's dishes? Oh, I think it sucks. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> He's trying to sabotage, bro. What are you talking about? He literally put whipped cream on my hot dog. Oh, I, I think that was the cameraman, bro. I was just over here. Wait, can you whipped cream hot dog? Boys, you have about nine minutes left. You can finish early if you want. It's up to you. I mean, I'm done, but uh, I don't know about Zach over There's here. There's still time to do something else. <laughs> bacon wrap hot dog. You're right, no. I gotta the add the bacon plan. to my creation no, stop, already. Bro. The up. more he adds to his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the worse it gets, bro. Oh, he's microwaving the bacon. <laughs> you know what? I gotta make my presentation cleaner, bro. <laughs> you gotta put the bacon there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Wait. Tim, why? That's tough, my boy. What are you talking about? <laughs> Tim, Tim looks kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really? I think <laughs> the last minute. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. We have Tim's hot dog. Whoa. You're welcome. That's all I gotta say, guys, is you're welcome. It is significantly better than I thought it would yeah. be. It's honestly uh, low calorie, too. Thank you, Tim. Oh, I like the way the, the buns are going. Nice toasting on the bun, inside and outside. Mm. Mm. It's very good. All right, Mancha, who are you casting your vote for? I might have to go with my boy, Zach. <laughs> Tim, I love the creativity. Thank you so much. It did surprise me. It was not repulsive like I thought it would be, but I'm gonna give this round to Zach. Let's see how it is. That's fine. Shocker! <laughs> Disrespectful. I think that they were judging by the look of it, but their tongue said otherwise. Can't always judge a book by its cover. Round three, we have Juggling Josh versus Christopher London. All right, well, you guys have 10 minutes to make smoothies. Oh, oh, okay. I was a little nervous because I feel like anyone can make a good smoothie. And I consider myself a decent chef and I feel like I even the playing field a little bit, but hopefully I can make it happen. How are we feeling about these smoothies? Right, especially, it looks like he's going healthy. He's grabbing the oat milk. We're doing the opposite. I'm grabbing chocolate ice cream. I'm doing like if Tim was making a, a milkshake. Let's go. You know, yeah. instead of a hot dog. You did inspire him. I feel like Christmas is going to taste very good. Throwing in some Nutella, going to be rich. Spinach, it's bold. All right. I think that's probably good. Oh, Chris put spinach in there. You're trying to get us healthy. Gatorade. Uh oh, Chris is struggling with the blender lid. Oh, baby. Checking consistency. Well, it's, it's a little thick. You guys like it thick or? They love them thick. I mean, need it thick. I really have no idea what Chris's is gonna taste like. I don't know if there's enough power for it. Yeah. Oh no. Are you eating the Mitchell's grilled cheese? Have you seen there's no cheese in half of it? Fire, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Two and a half minutes. Very watery. How do you fix that? Because most smoothies have like a dairy product. In dairy, it. or you gotta add more banana, or you gotta add more ice. There it is, there it is. Oh. So he melted oh some chocolate. Oh my gosh, dude. He is lathering the cup up. Josh has done this before. This might be a close battle. The consistency of his smoothie is a little questionable. Five, Four, really cut. Four, three, two, one. Time. All right, we have Chris's smoothie. Call it the London juice. The London juice. Ooh. Once I saw Chris's smoothie, I knew I had it in the bag. You only taste so good when it's healthy, but you, you gotta go sweet. It's very good. Chris.
Wow. <laughs> That's wow. like very refreshing. Dude, this tastes like it came from Jamba Juice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that. way to go. This is good. You like it? It feels healthy. I'm a fan of this. Yes. I was inspired, and this is a, a s'mores milkshake. This is maybe the most beautifully plated thing I've ever seen. Wow. Wow. That is delicious. Mm. I'll try a little straw. Jeff, who are you voting for? All right, I'm basing it off of preference. I'm going with Chris. Right. Oh. Okay, Mitchell, who are you voting for? Very, very tough decision. But one had a little stronger taste, which is Josh's, and I am choosing Josh. Side up. James, you're the final decider. This is the hardest round. It's a shame that one of you is going home round one, because I feel like both of you deserve to advance. I'm going to go with Josh. Chris, I would have gone with yours. The consistency wasn't smooth. The outcome, you know, it was a hard fought battle. Ice cubes, man, really sold me. I didn't have enough time to really break it down. Congratulations for making it to round two. Thank you. Didn't have to do anything. Oh yeah, what the heck? He hasn't proven himself yet. Well, he'll prove himself here. Boys, you have 20 minutes to make ramen noodles. Oh right. yeah, here right, we right. go. Time starts now. To be honest, I've been making ramen for a long time, especially back in college. So I wasn't really stressed out. Who do you guys think is going to win this round? I haven't seen Macho cook yet. Yeah, Macho hasn't cooked yet at all. So. Yeah, I don't know. Josh is already pulling out peppers and yeah. stuff. Oh, Macho got the hot oh, dogs? Macho's, he's going Filipino style for sure, bro. <laughs> Josh, did you go to college? Yes, I did. Did you ever cook ramen noodles in college? Oh, yeah. Of course. Everybody that went to college had to cook ramen. Oh, matcha with the tasting. What sauce is that? Oyster sauce. Oh, Oyster fire. sauce. You're judging? Zach and me. I got to throw in some marshmallows. In a black and a white guy. <laughs> Dude, Tim is like Buddy the Elf. Throw in some mellows for me. How's it going? Going good? Yeah, I'm going. I'm just, you know, really focused in. How about you? I'm all right. I'm a little nervous. I haven't ever cooked like a fancy ramen. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Me too. How is the ramen coming along, boys? We are coming, man. Don't worry. Dude, Dude the, the smells bacon. are getting crazy it in here. It smells great. Oh, is that bacon on the ground? Yeah, the bacon's getting a little oh too crispy. Oh my god, we got some onions right now going on over here. Are we using any eggs today, gentlemen? Yes, sir. I'm going to try. I've never done the like poached egg and ramen. They both would be good, but I think like see, Macho's like taste testing. He knows what he's looking for. Bro, but you got to give it to Josh, bro. He's just chugging along. No, I agree. I can't decide whether I want to add the fake. I've never like bought this chicken and this is very much like frat boy. Oh, I need to make some chicken. Can't decide if it's going to ruin my dish or not. I've never made fancy ramen before, but every time I've seen it, it has a, a poached egg in it. And so I've never tried this before. We're going to go for it. I'm taking out the nudes. A minute 20, boys. Oh, come on, egg, cook. Did I nail Eight, it? Seven, Did I nail it? Three, two, one. Let's go! All right, so we have ramen from Josh. Yeah. And for matcha, we will try Josh's first. Josh, this looks incredible. His dish, to be honest, presentation-wise, looked really good. I think the only thing that is missing is that when you think of ramen, you think about a lot more soup. A little bit of broth in there. Not bad. We'll crack, we'll crack the egg right from the middle. Tastes like ramen with bacon. Oh, thanks. That's what it is. Josh, your plating is incredible. Yeah, I tried matcha while it's still steaming. Uh -huh. Very different looking. Something That's different red. about this, bro. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, there's something different about this. This is really tough. The judges aren't saying anything. I'm so nervous. They just keep taking more and more bites. I don't know what they're thinking. All right, I think I know who I'm gonna vote for. All right, Tim, who are you voting for? Dude, you know, Josh, you really, really had me with the bacon, the peppers were very fresh. What I will say is I am a soup guy. I just wish there was a little more broth, so I'm gonna have to go with macho. Zach, who are you voting for? Oh man, I'm so torn. As a ramen soup dish, I'm gonna have to go with macho. I was going to vote for Josh, but macho does win the round two to one. Let's go. Now, Zach, did you hear about the shenanigans that happened the first round? I did not. I found out the first round that Mitchell actually served us Jeff's meal. He served us mine, and he won off of my <laughs> <laughs> no way! So, Mitchell, because I found out I was actually eating Jeff's food, I am bringing back Jeff Bowie. What? As me? Okay, As I'll you. No. You are being removed from the competition. Thank you, James. Welcome back, you, Jeff. Man. No way. James just let me back in the game. I went from being out of the game to possibly making the finals if I beat Zach right now. I'm locking in. I'm going to get this dub. You know, I felt a little pain when I got switched out for Jeff because I'm like, I beat him fair and square. <laughs> When Mitchell got swapped out for Jeff, I didn't like it at all. I was kind of scared of Jeff. Guys, you have 20 minutes to make bagels. Time starts now. Jeff, you need any help? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys fans of bagels? Oh, I yeah. love bagels, I bro. I love bagels. I love cream cheese, lox, red onion, capers. Damn, that's what Zach's making. <laughs> he just said exactly what he likes, and you're making it. Really? Yeah. You don't think we should share it? Nah. You guys like cheese? That's butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zach's looking around. Zach, you cook it? 
Hey. Jeff, are you cooking yeah. too? Or show us the Ooh. moves. Cooking it up in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. hey. 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 Uh -huh. oh. Yeah, we're cooking it. Oh, <laughs> slap the seasoning away. He's good. Jeff, how often would you say you eat a bagel? I eat a bagel every day. Really? Yes. Aren't you gluten? <laughs> you gluten. I'm gonna cook my buns that I'm doing for the burger in bacon grease. Oh my gosh, Jeff. That is looking heavenly right now. Thank you, sir. Does anybody not like mayo? I love mayo. Do you think this will fuck it up if I had cream cheese? That bagel yes. kind of looked burnt, Jeff. <laughs> Yo, Zach got out the salmon. Whoa. Smoked salmon. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. One of you two will be going to the final round, the other being eliminated. I cut it up for you guys. Whoa. That looks fire. Wow. Time for the smoked salmon. A lox bagel, homemade cream cheese, sriracha, chives, onion. Ooh. Wow. I'm surprised. Both of those were incredible. This is gonna be hard to pick a winner. The way Jeff's just works, like, shocks me. Macho, who are you choosing between Zach and Jeff? So I did like Zach's a lot. I'm a big fan of having salmon, but I think I definitely did like Jeff's a lot more, but I think I'm gonna have to go with Jeff. You're one vote away from the final, but Mitchell, who are you picking? Chefs, both an amazing job. Both bagels had their wins. Both bagels had their losses. <laughs> <laughs> But the one bagel with slightly more wins than losses is Jeff. Yes! All right, and Jeff goes to the final. Let's go. What were you gonna say? I was going to vote for Jeff. Let's go! Served me right to be scared of him because he ended up whooping my ass. Welcome to the championship round. You guys have created some amazing dishes, and now you will have 20 minutes to create whatever you want. Time starts now. No way. Whatever you want? That's kind of hard. Wow. This is the final round. If I win this, I win it all. This is the toughest part because we made everything today. So we got to be creative with the ingredients that we have. I think I'm going to go something with the waffle, maybe something savory with sweet. I don't know yet. I'm just going to figure it out. Jeff, man, I mean, I think he's a cook. I think he won the last one. So I'm excited to see uh, what he makes against me. But I'm also afraid of Jeff, to be honest, because he could cook a mean one. I got an idea. Zach, if you were in the final, what would you be making right now? Now. I don't know. I feel like this is by far the toughest round. It is. Like I see a waffle. I see eggs. I kind of just see everything. How are you guys feeling? You guys are very quiet. I think it's the toughest part is making something that is new. So trying to make it creative for you guys. Yeah, I'm trying to make something out of the blue. There's a lot of thinking going on. What are you thinking about? How to make this creative. This is not easy. Ooh, okay, okay, I like what I see. I like what I see in there, too. There's definitely some heavy breakfast themes going on. Jeff, he almost sold himself. This would be the story of the century. It's a comeback story. I have no idea what I'm doing still. So. My focus is to get a really good cheese pool. I know I was lacking that in the grilled cheese sandwich, so I'm gonna go for that. Purpose of this, I'm gonna put some mozzarella on it first so that it gets sealed. That's what I'm gonna do is put a nice slice of cheese on top. Seven minutes left, chefs. How are we feeling on time? Good, good, good. Not good, okay. not good at all. Not good at all? But it's okay. In case this doesn't work out, got some dessert. <laughs> So if I was on getting this melted, I'm gonna add some salami just to add a little bit of kick because it is a little charcuterie. You guys are too friendly. I think we're just like more concentrated on trying to figure out if we, could, we got a good dish. Damn, I should put ice cream in this shit. It looks very messy over there. This is where you really gotta lock in. Whoa, what is Jeff's plating? You guys are at 35 seconds. How are we feeling on time? Are we all good? We're good. I think we're done. good. You're done? All right, we'll cut it early. So Jeff and Macho, you both have prepared us your final meal. Can you guys tell us what you've made? Yeah, so I didn't really want to go with one meal. I was trying to go for two. Try to go with an easy egg slider, something super simple. And then, uh, you know, like a nice dessert with some ice cream inside. Okay. It's good, huh? Very good. I could tell by the, you know, facial expressions. Thank you. Jeff, tell us about this. So my first dish I made was a grilled cheese, which is cheesy. I focused on that and I brought together also the bagel being a breakfast, which is more savory. I did a mixture of what I did well in the last one and I put some syrup on this waffle. It's gonna come together, hopefully. We have four different types of cheeses with salami in between them. I have no idea how this is going to taste. Whoa. All right, I'll give it one more bite. I will not. Well, um, all right, Zach, who do you who do you think was the winner? This is tough because Macho burned his sliders. Yeah, I will say I was not fully impressed by the sliders. The eggs were good. Dessert was gas. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like Jeff's yours had a chance if the cream cheese you, wasn't on you it. You really did have a without chance the cream cheese. Cream cheese mm. killed it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Macho. I'm also going with Macho. <laughs> macho is our <laughs> champion. Good job, sir. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.